There's an awful lot of talk in the enterprise about BYOD these days, but Alan DeBerry from AirWatch says there's a, maybe a different way to look at it. It's not about bringing your own device, it's about how to use any device when it comes to enterprise mobility. And Alan, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you very yeah. much. Tell me about, you know, so how, how are we looking at it, uh, I hate to say through the wrong prism, but through a, a prism that you suggest might be a little off. So we are finding that even people that get a corporate device, they want to use that for all the same use cases as somebody that has brought their own device to work. People want to carry one device. They want to charge one device. They've got one life. They don't have a corporate life and a personal life. They have a life. And to say to your corporate folks, we're not going to let you um, shop on it. We're not going to let you consume entertainment. We're not going to let you use it as your car key or your credit card. We think it's almost irresponsible. So these devices need to have all of those same capabilities and security, and you really need to be thinking through the use case of corporate devices in many ways similar to your BYOD environment. And that means that you really have to have collective mobility strategies, mm -hmm. not a strategy for the devices you give your employees and a separate strategy. So there's no wall. There's no wall. Right, there's we don't say, it's, well, yeah, we don't say corporates over here and personals over here. It really is about finding a way to break down that barrier of thinking and, uh, and integrate a, like you said, a holistic approach. So what do I do? If I'm at that company, how are you going to convince me that that's okay and I should relax? Well, the first thing is we believe there's different use cases. There might be the situation of a CEO or a CFO or somebody that you really do want to restrict and he's okay with it. So the point is it's not about device ownership, it's about use case. We believe that there's got to be a lot of flexibility. There's going to be a lot of use cases where you only need email on the device. There's going to be board members that only want the board packet. Uh, and as a matter of fact, they might be on two or three boards, and so MDM doesn't fit. Uh, there's other instances where there's doctors, and they actually work in five different hospitals, and uh, they can't be on five different MDMs. So the point is that you have to start with what are the use cases you're trying to solve, and then find systems that are broad and flexible, and meet all those needs securely, and that allow the user to have a great experience. So how do you do that in terms of flexibility? Uh, obviously we know about the pace of innovation, right? Things change, boom, 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 overnight. And yet we have these legacy systems sometimes in place that, that those two thoughts seem to be incongruous. Well now you see why we've grown from 100 to 1,500 people <laughs> in three years and right. we'll be- 9,000 9, clients, uh, right? 9, right. You'll know, be 3,000 by the end of next year at least. Yeah. And the point is we've got to build integration into all of those ecosystem partners, into all those existing systems for identity management, Active Directory, LDAP, email, so that these systems are secure. Secondly, we've got to build uh, flexibility across this broad enterprise mobility platform for security and flexibility that might be email only, app only, content only, or fully integrated platform. And the problem again is companies want one platform to manage all of their mobility. Mm -hmm. They don't want five different consoles and when the ruggedized device gets converted to a, uh, a, a tablet or a, a modern phone, that all of a sudden it's being managed by something else. They want one solution to do it all. Right. AirWatch is making mobile simple, or simpler, I should say. Uh, if you had to say there is a, a challenge though in that, is it, is it in the vertical? Is it because healthcare has one need, trucking has one need, retail has one need? I mean, how do you go across the vertical and identify what their specific challenge is? So we have actually uh, 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 verticalized our company so that we've got dedicated people by each vertical, mm -hmm. and that's not really the complexity. We, we figure that out, mm -hmm. there's a lot of shared use cases, uh, it helps our people talk the lingo better, and it, certainly there are some instances of functionality, but that's not the hard part. It's the dizzying rate of innovation. Mm -hmm. It's the number of operating systems. The fact there's a new operating system every 15 days that we need to stay on top of. The fact that things like gear and the watch that is being paired with it, the machine to machine, the printers, the things like the use cases in shopping and, and a mobile wallet, uh, all of these things need to be thought of in advance because we've got to be on top of that the day those things get released or else we're causing security problems for our customers. And our customers are the ones that can't afford that. These are big oil and gas, government. These are companies and enterprises with the highest security demands in the world and so we've got to be in front of all of that innovation. Well, it looks like you're staying in front of the game. Uh, no doubt about that. Thanks for the time and thanks for the insight. Thank it's a pleasure. you. Appreciate your time. Thank you, sir.